is up, 1320 fans. We are back with some cast days action. We're out in the middle of nowhere, New Mexico, just like we have been for the past four years. The only difference is there's rain in the forecast. Now, rain has never been a problem here before. Hopefully it's not a problem tonight. Hopefully it dries out, but that is happening right now. This cash days has always been good to us. Always been a huge variety of cars. And just walk through the pitch real quick. The variety of cars is still there, but the quality of cars has gone up. There are some fast cars on the property, a lot of them. So I'm gonna walk around the pits, talk to some folks, see what they brought to play with. And uh, we'll take you guys some racing action here in a little bit. All right, kicking things off, we got a 2JZ 240. Yep. Other than that, tell me the full setup, what are we looking at here? Uh, Mosworks built, um, piston rod motor, billet main caps, head games head, 86, 85 precision turbo, Rossler tranny with a Pro Tour converter. It's on a Fab 9 inch. Tuned by SQC tuning and out of Albuquerque and unknown racing, we've kind of built it all. You got a lot of street street hits on it? We do. Pretty figured here, out? We have a good 350 passes, I'd say. Oh, okay. Up, so. Pretty big yeah, yeah. <laughs> What kind of power is the car uh, making? We've made as much as 1500. Damn. Well, good luck to yeah, you. It works. Thank you. We'll see you in the first Thanks, round. Man. Oh, yeah. Not one 240. We got two 240s. Is this a 2J? It is. We got another 2J? Yeah. 240? Are you guys buddies or something? Yeah, we're both within the racing. We're like brothers, man. That okay. So this this makes sense then. Yep. All right. What is the setup on your 2J 240? So mine is a 2JZ 240 power line, 6870 precision, completely stock bottom end, stock head. I, I don't normally see 2J 240s that often. And I can see two of them right here on the street together. Yep. Well, thanks for bringing the car out. Good hey. luck to you first round, man. Thanks, man. See you then. All right. Chevy Vega, what is the setup on the car? Uh, 5.3 LS, built by me and my dad. Just coming to see what we can do out here for the cash days. So 5.3, you said? 5.3 with a, how big is turbo on that thing? Uh, 76. I'm looking at it, I know you're like, that's fine, that's fine. You don't have to tell me the truth, that's fine. It's a 94. Okay, okay. Did you make any hits out here last night? We made a couple. Um, we've been testing on a bunch of different roads, trying to kind of figure it out. So we changed suspension setups. So I like to run it on a small tire, but this is the first time we set it on the I was going to ask you because I couldn't see the tire, but there's no tire limit for this one. So yep. how yep. big is the tire on the front? Uh, what do you got today? 33, 15, 15. Oh, damn. Okay, that's yep. a big one. It's a big yep. one. All right. So keep an eye out for it. We were having a problem doing some wheel stands with it. Gotcha. So gotcha. we think we've got it under, under control. Good luck to you. See you first round. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. One thing that's really unique about this cash day specifically, uh, it's never had a tire rule. So for years, a couple years at least, there was a big tire Fox Body Mustang that came out to this. They did pretty well. Well, a lot of other people found out that there's no tire rule. So like the Vega's got a 33. I'm sure a lot of other guys brought big tires. And all-wheel drive is allowed. We've seen this car before. What is like? Streetcar takeover. Yeah, streetcar takeover. Denver here two years. I was about to say we've seen this like, yeah, a handful like, of times. Yeah. What's the current setup on on the fifth gen? Well, the current setup is a like, stock six two that it comes with just with head bolts. Okay. And gasket. And so head bolted six two with twins on it. Twins on it. Okay. Stock cam. Everything else is stock. Really? Yeah. How much power does it make? Yeah. Made nine eighty. Really? Yeah. Everything <laughs> stock uh, except for yeah, head bolts. And I have to ship it at five thousand because I don't have a cam or retainers, spring retainers. Really? And uh, float the the heads. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. not break the freaking thing. I know. <laughs> so it's been stocked this whole time? Yeah, it's been no stocked way. for five years. Really? It and it's built, still running? Yeah, my dad built it five years ago. It's just been in the family for Hell five yeah. years now. Yeah, it's 350. Is this you? Yeah. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good, good. I'm used to seeing a couple 350s out, and this one looks pretty serious. Yeah. I like the LS. It's got a big turbo. Give yeah. me a rundown of the setup. What am I looking at here? It's a 6 liter Gen 4. Okay. L96 with a 85 millimeter uh, force induction. Okay. The turbo uh, runs on 85 with a TH400. Well, how much power is it making right now? Uh, it makes a thousand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a good number for this road because yeah. this road can't take a lot of power. These guys that have 17, 1800 horsepower. Yeah. They're not going to be able to put that down to maybe the finals if we're yeah. lucky. So, yeah. what all did you bring? Just my car. Kimbo? Yep. I've never seen it on the street. You oh, really? I've never seen your car on the street. I know uh, you race it all the time on the street, but I've never seen it on the street. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, we'll see how it does out here. This road sucks. You've been out here a couple times, though. Yeah, to, with the other cars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is the current what? setup on Kimbo? What are we looking at? Uh, same thing, 68 millimeters on M1. Uh, we tested it with a little nitrous yesterday because the elevation, but it's just too much for the road. So um, we can really only run like 40 pounds, 
at some point on certain streets like this one, the street becomes the limiting factor. So no matter how fast the car is, you know, we got a 4,000 pound car over there that's going just as fast. So. Exactly. I'm excited to see Kimbo run. I've never seen him on the street. Just keep it in the lanes. Hey, he it should goes be straighter good. on the street than it does on the tracks. Does it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes you feel better. Yeah. All right, man. Good luck. Thanks. Hell yeah. One of the things that they started doing in this cash days last year that I thought was really freaking cool, and it looks like they're doing it again better this year, is they lined the road with lights so you, it, you can kind of see like a runway when you go down. Check it out. So last year they had glow sticks all the way down. It looks like they've upgraded. The starting line looks like glow sticks, but all the way down we got actual lights that they put into the ground there. So you kind of get like a, a view of down track. It kind of looks like a runway. It's pretty sweet because once the sun goes down, it'll literally be dark as hell. Like no light out here. There isn't a street light or a town for 40, 50 miles. It's we're out in the middle of freaking nowhere, folks. Like I said, nobody has cell service out here. Not a single soul. Okay. First, we want to thank thank everyone for supporting this. Another thing I want to uh, talk about, you know, everything that's happened in the past weeks with those whole issues. We're we're all. I mean, we're we're not friends, but no one's here hating. No, no one wants to fight nobody. We we all have a job, a business, a family to go to, and there's gonna be betting. You know, there's gonna be a bunch of fuck yeah, like get that shit out of here. Don't don't let that get in your feelings, man. It's racing. Let's not get nasty like it's been in other places. Exactly, man. Yeah, exactly. Let's be cool, guys. We're all here to have a good time. So let's talk rules real quick, guys. We're gonna do eighth mile. Heads up. Flashlight start. I will be your flagger tonight. Uh, I'll check in with everybody, make sure everybody's got what they need as far as bumps, where you're going to be, etc. Uh, your crew member will pull you up, as soon as they pull you up, let me know whether you need a bump, whatever it is. We'll keep you guys in. Um, we're going to keep it kind of tree style, you're going to have seven seconds between the guy that's going to stage in next to you. Um, you got seven seconds basically to bump in or come into the line, whatever it is. Anything after that seven seconds, the yeah. light is game. No, uh, no, no jumps, no chases, races, no nothing like that. You're good. Any, uh, any forceful forward movement, getting called. We'll nope. Tire cracks, anything. Tire, tire crack, crack is a jump. Jump. Tire crack is a jump. Tire crack is a jump. No crossing lanes, no nothing like that. If you guys start getting loose, please let out of it. We don't need anybody wrecking over here. We don't need anybody hurting themselves. Safety is our most important thing. And you guys are about to see some cool stuff for the next few hours. You guys that are spectating, everything like that, we ask you guys to chip in a little bit. We have some uh, Jepsons. I bought in. Yeah. So, so Thank Je you. Jepson actually bought in, and they're actually going to gonna donate we'll more. Be here. We want to donate another 250 to the drivers. Everybody be safe. Hey, hell yeah. And if uh, you guys are looking for bets, come find me. Alright, first pair, Mexico Cash Days, 300ZX versus, I believe this is a Malibu wagon? Like I said guys, variety is big here, a lot of variety of cars. Tire movement, yep. car's oh, riding. He jumped. Yeah. He jumped. Yeah. I knew it was Fuck close. It was close. He almost cut a tree. Yeah, I knew it was close. I was like, dude, the light comes on. Like, oh, dude. You're so killing close. me, Smalls. Oh, it was man, so I thought close. I had it. I was so excited. I was like, yes. And then I, I knocked 100 beer. bucks again. There you go. Sorry, brother. <laughs> oh, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Darn. All right, we got a stock. GTR versus a actually stock GTR.
didn't but he needed to though, that's might perfect. Need, might need to go put some uh, glow, glow sticks back where they were. Did he knock them on the uh, side? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. seen a pro charge car leave off a foot brake. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 <laughs> if he was going to leave off a trans brake, he would spin the whole thing. One thing that almost never fails at this cash days, and it's not the guys that run its fault, it's really not, it's just things happen. There's always a little bit of drama. Not a lot of drama, but there's always a little bit of drama, and I thought that was going to be very dramatic. Luckily, the guy in the GTR, very understandable, and he said, yeah, I'll rerun it, no problem. Now, he doesn't have to rerun it, he took the win, and this guy, like, their problem with the car on the line, that's fine, uh, it's kind of his problem, but it's really cool the GTR guy is willing to rerun it, because this car is, makes, like, God, loads of power. So, really fast Nova versus the black GTR. They're gonna rerun it.
Austin, 240's off. Hey, you okay? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, I'm beating that man. man. Damn, thank God for safety equipment, bro. Do you have a toe strap? He's fine, choice. Get out of the car. Hey, that's why we buy a thing. Yep. We'll get out of here tomorrow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Hey, get this or what? Huh? The truck? Oh, did you roll? I rolled, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, don't worry about the GoPro. I'm not going to charge you for it. <laughs> you all right? Are you good, though? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? Cages. Cages didn't even budge. I just grabbed the straps and let it let. Who, who built the cage? Viking Viking Fabrication. Go, go, go hug those guys. <laughs> yep. the, the cage did its Shout job. Shout out, Matt. <laughs> All right, it's maybe an hour later. Uh, 240s pulled out. It's on the trailer. Driver's fine. Mac is fine. Uh, Kimbo. Mac, Mac said Kimbo, there was like no damage to the car at all. So everything's fine and we're going to continue racing. Uh, we're going to do a couple more passes and then I think they're going to look at the starting line, see if they need to maybe prep the first 60 feet. But uh, we're going to do a few more races and uh, they're going to reestablish or they're, they're going to reevaluate it after the first round's done. So I think we got three or four more pairs. So what they're doing in the name of safety is they're going to prep the first 60 feet because there's a little bit of mud and dirt and whatnot on the starting line. They're going to clean that off and they're going to prep the first 60 feet. That way there's no, you can't get too squirrely and lose it. So.
that was a hell of a fucking show, dude. Jeez. A little too quick, huh? That was that was ridiculous. Not bad, <laughs> not bad. See you next round, buddy. All right, now the first round is done. And we're probably gonna do 15, 30 minute break and then bring them up for round two. All right, guys, it's been probably 30, 30, 45 minutes. We're starting round two right now. First off, we have the GTR with no front bumper, the shop Houston car versus the Turbo LS 350Z. Coming at you, first, first pair, second round.
said he's checking. He said he's checking. He said he's pretty sure. It's left. I think it's left, but we'll see. We'll confirm. Right. right lane by a fender. Oh. Right lane? Damn. This is going to be a bye run. The 240 would have been racing this car, but he unfortunately wrecked the first round. So uh, Camaro gets a bye run. Big tires. That's little bag of big tires. That's, that's, that's the, exactly what that's it is. The theme, I guess. How's, how's it going down the road? Is the road good? <sighs> Left lane feels like it's definitely better than the right lane. Right lane, I had to drive it quite a bit, coming out the hole. I was left, right, left, right, and then once it kind of got out a little bit, it seemed like it worked up. So. Gotcha. Well, it was an impressive little Vega. Normally, when we see a Vega, it's a bracket car. Yeah. As you, I'm sure you believe. Right. But yeah, we don't get to see very quick ones. So good to see you moving on to third round, man. It's a it's a cool story. My dad had one when he was younger, and oh really? I came across it and said, you know, let's bring it back and. You know, so we're doing it. A little faster than your dad yeah. had it, though. A little bit. <laughs> trying to stay ahead of his numbers. So, we'll cool. see you at the round, man. Thanks, Congrats. All right, now you got to talk to me about the car. <laughs> I thought it was the same setup it was before. Apparently, this thing's making some steam now. It's the it's the old Blue Rhino setup. I don't know if I want to discuss that because, you know, that was secret for, for Blue Rhino. Oh, that's right. Stock <laughs> car, yeah, stock, stock car yeah. stuff. This thing's moving out, though. How's, how's, the, how's the road out there tonight? I know you've been, been on this thing it's, forever. It's but. bad. There's a lot of dirt. It's, it's sketchy, but I mean, we're all driving on the same road. So. Who do you got next round? Uh, the Black Nova. Oh, okay. I Hell think. yeah.
left. We have a Malibu wagon, a Nova, a GTR, and a Vega. Very interesting group. I've not talked to the I've not talked to the wagon or the Nova, so I'm gonna talk to them real quick, figure out the setups because they're pretty impressive. How's it going? What's up man? How are you? Pretty good. You're having a pretty good night right now into the semifinals, right? Do you have the GTR or the Vega? I have the blue Houston shop. GTR, GTR. gotcha, yeah. gotcha. What's the setup on the Nova here? It is, uh, there you go. It's a 417 LS7 base deal with twin turbos on it. Pretty simple setup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to claim it's like stock block or anything like that. But it's got, you know, three speed behind it. And it's kind of set up for small tire gearing, so it seems to work on this road. What, what, have less gear so. How big a tire do you have on it right now? It's a 3315. Okay, pretty I mean, pretty decent size. Yeah, it's not like no funny car stuff or nothing. How we doing? I'm good, how are you? I, see, I bet you're doing good yeah, in the yeah. semifinals right now. <laughs> yep. I, I, I didn't talk to you yet because your car was in the trailer the whole time. Right. What is the setup on it? It's a small block Chevy, 383 cubic inch uh, with a pro charger. Take a look. You sure, better. hell yeah. Is it making? I don't know, it's never been on the dyno. Blow through setup with the carb? It's a blow through carb with a 150 shot of night boost. Gotcha. What do you got this round? I've got the Vega. Oh, gotcha. He's fast. What size tire are you running on this thing? Uh, 28 10 bike. Gotcha. You're the only, I'm going to tell you this, you're the only small tire guy left. Oh. There's all wheel drive, and then there's two big tire cars, and then you. Oh, okay. So you're keeping it real for the small yeah. tire guys, so. though. Rock on, man. Hell yeah. Good luck to you, man. Thanks, brother. Absolutely.
think that was left. All right, so that means for the final, we have the blue shop Houston GTR versus the orange Vega. You could have two more different cars. It's going to be a good final. No, no, but the, the is pot. Is it nine, or is it yours? It's 9-1. It's huh? Do you guys just want to run it for the 10? What do you mean? What do you think? Is is it your or is your or is it oh, so how much you want to bet? That's what I'm off? asking you. Is it your money takes off? Or He's asking Nova. you if you're betting your money so how much? or if you're betting other people. Are you betting your money? Yeah, 500. 5,000. 500. Let's do 3,000. <laughs> 3,000. 3,000? <laughs> yeah. Three, which one? Three thousand. Three thousand. Doesn't all, matter. All We're going to get it. Right. Three thousand. Oh, three thousand. Yeah. Done. Three thousand. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Hey, we got another two grand with what's his name, right? I'm going to With who? Two, two thousand with somebody else on your team. So we have ten thousand dollars for the final between the Vega and the Shop Houston GTR. It's ten thousand dollars, winner take all. They talked about doing a split, neither one to do split. So whoever wins the race gets ten thousand dollars. On top of that, they did side bets. Their buddies did side bets. We have another five thousand dollars worth of bets on top of that side pot money. This is a big final. Let's go! 